my practice requires a certain amount of solitude anyway. This is just a very extreme version of that. My name is Matthew Cole. I'm a painter based in New York City and Paris, France. The museum was business as usual when I first arrived. Come the second week here, the museum decided to close. So from there on, I've basically been here all alone in complete solitude. It's really just me in the museum. There's a lot of time to reflect and focus and just not really be bothered by daily distractions. It's a little eerie. I have to pinch myself from time to time to remind myself this is reality. So it's a pretty long, deep conversation with myself, I'd say. The work I'm making is really just in, you know, in response to, what, to what's happening. I, it's, it's fired me up in a way that it's, you know, it's made me feel empowered to use my paintings as an artistic weapon. And without it, I, I don't think I'd be able to, to get through the day. <laughs> For me, if I don't get started right away, if I think about it too much, I will procrastinate. So I, I tend to tell myself to just leave my brain at the door when it's time to get started and just be mechanical and just get to it. Otherwise, too much thought goes into it and I, I might not start at all in the first place. So I tend to just, from those early hours in the morning, I think with my hands. Normally at this time I would be in New York City where the pandemic has broke out and is you know, spreading exponentially day by day. So this is a nice little incubator to be in. Most of my art is primarily rooted in personal experiences and I like to create them within the framework of work that's been, been made before me. And hopefully in a context in which many other people can relate to. Which is why I think it was so important to switch the focus of the paintings I'm making now to something that everybody can relate to right now. It, it seemed pointless to make a personal project while this whole event was taking place in the world. And so it's forced me to hunker down and have tunnel vision and just make work that I normally would not make. I, I think is, has been one of the, the greatest pros of this situation in that it's kind of allowed me to step out of my own body and comfort zone for a while and see what happens. So I feel totally free in a way to just make the best work possible in response to what's going on.